Hi everyone, I'm here to talk about forms. Forms let you document project information, like in the project charter, gather data, like in the meeting minutes form, perform calculations, like in the C&E matrix, find root causes, like in the five whys, and make decisions, like in the impact versus effort matrix. Forms can contain single-entry data fields, such as project name, project status, or due date. Or they can contain data entry tables that let you enter rows and columns of data. Some data entry tables on forms are connected to a common data table source. This allows the data and these common data tables to be used in multiple ways in a variety of forms. Let's look at the tasks table in the meeting minutes form. When you choose Create New Tasks to add a task to the table in the Meeting Minutes form, it also appears in the Tasks form. When you add a row to create a new task in the table that is not connected to a data table source, you can only add or delete rows. The data entered is only available in the current form. It does not appear anywhere else. Forms include many features to make them easy to complete. The Quick Fill feature allows you to fill out fields faster and helps to reduce data entry errors. For example, this Process Map Activity field displays a list of activities from any process maps you created. Some Quick Fill fields display options that you type into the form, each one added to the list as you type it. To resize a column but retain the width of all other columns, Press and hold the Alt key while you adjust the column width. Press Ctrl and Enter to add a row below your cursor location. This is useful when you reach the bottom of a data table. When you hover over the column header, you can choose how you want to sort the column. All other columns are sorted at the same time. If you have a table with many columns or rows, you can freeze the headers so you can scroll across or down the list and keep the headers in view. You can delete multiple rows at once when you highlight them. Right-click and choose Delete. You can also copy the contents of a table and paste it into Microsoft Excel. Simply right-click the table, choose Copy Table, and then paste it into your Excel file. For more information and videos, go to www.minitab.com.